Yo, what's happening, people? Welcome back to the Neat Sports Podcast, episode 65. We're back live. Premier League season is about to get underway already. Just done, lift the title, but all of a sudden we're back. We're ready to go again. I've got the gang with me today, and you know how we do Premier League prediction time. Who's going to be winning the league? Who's going to be challenging for the league? And who is getting relegated? Plus a lot more to come. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's get into it. And all of a sudden, we're back. Come round too quickly, man. Premier League starts this Friday. Uh, Brentford against Arsenal kicks off the Premier League season. We're straight back into it. No rest for the wicked. Uh, all the players are back or come back into training now. Um, and yeah, we go we go straight we go straight into it. So as we as we do, as we do on Neek Sports, we go through our, our predictions for the season, some hot takes, um, for what we think the Premier League how do you think this Premier League is gonna end really? Um, highlights of last year being given predicting Chelsea wins the league and they go even bigger and win the Champions League. So you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong, but you know. <laughs> I'm totally happy that you're uh... <laughs> <laughs> almost and as close as I was almost close with the Euros as well. Well, but this, yeah, is, the, but this yeah. is the thing like, if managers get sacked halfway through the season, another manager comes in and they change whole whole game changes, man. Mm-hmm. Whole game changes, but especially when it's Chelsea managers as well. Um, so we'll see. Maybe two will get sacked and Chelsea win the Champions League again. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. So I guess we're going to do let's get into it, man. Um, we're going to start from the top. We're going to start with the Premier League winners. Um, or should we do top four? But, I mean... I think we start from the bottom. What, start from bottom upwards? Yep. Okay. Well, okay, if we start, if we go from the bottom, we go we go bottom three. So we yeah. just go yeah. our bottom three. Um, Who came So up? go on, Carl. Carl, kick this off. Well, Brentford... Watford and Norwich are back. And he went down. Uh, West Brom. Uh, Fulham. Fulham. Sheffield, Fulham. 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 Sheffield. 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 West Brom, Fulham, and Sheffield. Yeah, West Brom, Fulham, and Sheffield are no longer here. And so Norwich, Watford. Brentford, and Watford. Watford came up. Yeah. Who went about, Who who was who almost went down last season? Who didn't? Brighton, Newcastle, <laughs> Burnley, Palace. Awesome. No, I mean, who was hovering <laughs> around there? Them, right? Probably yeah. Brighton and Newcastle the most. So yeah, yeah, Burnley, yeah. Newcastle. Well, Newcastle in the end, Newcastle finished twelfth, but they were down there for a while. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Burnley finished seventeenth, Brighton finished sixteenth, and Southampton finished fifteenth. Hmm. Carl, do you want to get this mm. off? Oh yeah. If they lose I one actually, in that, it might just be Southampton. I actually had a little think about mm. this, and I've got. I've got a general idea. I mean, in the back of my head, mm. I've got this mm. whole Sheffield thing in my head. Like, they did so well the season before. Next Sheffield. season, they're going to get... Yeah, they did so well the season before, and then the second season, Syndrome just hit them, and they went straight down. And mm. I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, could that be Leeds? Could that be Leeds? I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking... Man said Leeds. But... but I'm not gonna go there. I don't think I'm a person that believes that lightning don't strike twice in the in, in, in the same place. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it and say, you know what, Leicester are cool. I mean not Leicester, sorry, Leeds are cool. Le- Leeds are cool. But I'm gonna put Watford as one, and I'm gonna say Watford are gonna finish if 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 we have to actually give them a position, I'm mm-hmm. gonna say Watford's gonna finish eighteenth. Watford to finish eighteenth. <clears throat> and I think the reason why I say that is because are we having this up on screen? They, they scored in a second. They, they scored oh, okay. so few goals in the championship. Even though I think they had one of, if not the best defensive record in the championship. Yeah, but I know that yeah, the best defensive <laughs> record in the championship. But it doesn't it doesn't mean anything when it comes to the Premier League. Honestly, mm-hmm. it doesn't mean anything when it comes to the Premier League. And they're so negative. They they like they they try to win one 0 every game. That's not gonna run if they come with the same football 
they're just going to be exposed and they will turn into the league's whipping boys. Um, so I, I, I personally think Watford is going to go straight back down. They still got man like Troy Deeney kicking around in that club. I mean, I, I, I mean, they need to move on. Um, I think Troy Deeney, Andre Gray, and Josh King. Mm-hmm. I might just, just come back around. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think the other promoted side, um, Norwich, is going down as well. I think they're going to finish nineteenth. Okay. Nineteenth, and I mean, they're having a they're having a second bite of the cherry. They came up, had a had a a good opener against Liverpool. We well, lost lost like four three or something. Uh, but Pookie started the season well, and then they just they just they just wilted off, and then they, yeah went, went straight back down. And I feel like I look at them, and I looked at some of their highlights and matches throughout the, the, the <clears> season they had in the championship. Not much has really changed. So I think. They will go back down along with Watford, and I think the last team. No, no, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. Watford. I got my numbers mixed up. Watford nineteenth, Norwich twentieth. My eighteenth place team is Wolves. Ooh, Norwich, Watford, Wolves. Yeah, I, I just, I just, have, I just feel like they lost them. They've, they've lost their manager that got them in such a strong position and a, 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 a strong team for the you know for like two three seasons, got them into Europe, in Nuno. You know, um, then they've also lost some big key players. Um, they lost obviously Yota, um, you know, a couple other players, and I just think that they're not the same. And I looked at them in pre season, uh, and yeah, you know, someone was saying to me that yeah, even in pre season they've they had. They have they've had what was it six or seven matches they've had preseason, pretty much playing their first team players throughout to try and get them as ready for the season. They've got one clean sheet in six or seven games, and only one win. They're really struggling. Like this, the manager's not getting them to click right now. And I know it's only preseason. You can't look at preseason too tough. It's it's literally only preseason. You you you're kind of trialing and 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 kind of working at your team, especially as a new manager. You know. He's, he's only just got a hold of the team. But I just feel like, yeah, they're, they're not the same. And obviously, with him and his long-term injury that he had last season, I I don't even know if he's coming back the same. It doesn't look like it. I don't think he's come back. And obviously, he don't have Yota beside him. So, I just think they're falling apart. It's a sinking ship. And I think that he ain't doing enough to, to stop it sinking. So, I think I'll put them in 18th above the two newly promoted sides. Mm. All right. <clears throat> cool. Um, I'll go next. Um, I'm going to go with Watford rock bottom. Yeah, same sort of thing. I don't, I don't, I don't see it. Like they'll probably change managers at least three times during the season. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, yeah, that, yeah, that squad don't look like it's got much better than it was when it first came, when it was there last year, the year before. Um, and yeah, so I'd, yeah, I think I can't see them staying. I can't see them staying up anyway. But yeah, I put them, I put them rock bottom to go. Um, now my next two, well, my next one, um, in nineteen, I'm gonna go with Crystal Palace. Mm. I'm gonna go with Patrick Vieira's Crystal Palace. I hear you. I have Listen, four, but I hear you. When you get rid of Roy, you know. Roy, he's been there. I, mean, did he's been getting him? I didn't even know they got rid of him. Well, I mean, he basically retired, didn't it? Pretty, like, pretty much, like, I mean, yeah, cool. been around for so long, you know, it felt like it was time to go. And I get that. They want change, innit? The last time they had change, Frank the Bull came in and he didn't last longer than four games. <laughs> um, and this time, <laughs> all I'll say is Big Sam, get ready, man. It could be a U thing. It could be a U thing <laughs> come up. And we know that Big Sam does now go down. <laughs> oh, we know that big sound goes down. Um, yeah, I just like I get the way they want to play better. I understand it, but it's a gamble, isn't it? And I just don't know what Patrick Vieira's got there, really. Like he's done okay where he's been before, but not not pulled up many trees. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. You know, obviously I want him to do well, I want their players to do well, but I just think um yeah, you get rid of a man like Roy and it just look it I, I, to be fair, I've looked at them as a potential relegation for the past couple of years. 
But Roy has somehow been able to get something out of them. Um, and I know that Eze, Eze's out till Christmas, I think, because that injury you got. So I feel like him not being there, Zaha have to carry the team again on his back. I uh, just don't know if they got enough. And this is, my, this is a tricky one because could be Brentford, mm. could be Norwich. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a risk and say Southampton. Ooh, I think Southampton. Um, what are they like? Second worst defense in the league last year. Mm. Danny Ings is gone. Um, they've signed a second top strike, the second top goal scorer in the championship last year uh, as their striker this year. And I just don't know. That's a I don't even know who he is. Armstrong or something like that. I don't even know who he is. Them man always a risk, isn't it? So I guess the same with like Ivan Tony and and you know how Watkins came up, more pie. You never know how they're gonna be in it in the, in the Premier League. Yeah. And I feel like they just it's the risk that they've taken. I don't think their defence has got any better. Bertrand's gone now. Um and Where's he how going many to? Leicester. Leicester. Yeah. When do these signings happen? I haven't heard this. When you were watching the Olympics, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's my that's that's my take. I, yeah, I, that, part of me feels that like both of them won't go down, but I can see miseries happening for both of them, and um, maybe there's hope for me that I want Brentford to stay up. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with that. And I think with Southampton, how many times can you concede nine goals and still keep your job? <laughs> One. <laughs> Ralph Fraser hasn't. I don't know. If, I don't think he will last the season either. To be fair, um, but yeah, I'm gonna go with them too. So yeah, Palace, Southampton, Watford, or oh, Southampton, Palace, Watford. Um, Neeks. Uh yeah, I go with Watford. Um, with everyone else, I mean, 18, 19, 20, if I don't know, but I'll go with Watford. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I go Watford bottom. I go with Watford twentieth. Uh, I think the same thing in terms of lack of goals. That's gonna gonna hurt them. Um, I've also got Palace going down um, and, and Vieira getting the boot. Arsenal legend. Then you can get two ex Arsenal players sacked this season: uh, Arteta and Vieira. But well, that's a discussion <laughs> another a bit later later on. No, um, but yeah, I think. When teams try and do this, all right, let's start trying to play fancy. Like, it's a bit out of your nature. It's not what the players have been doing for all this time. And now it's like, a, it might be a big transition. I don't know how he's going to do it. Has he got the, the wearable to, to keep the, the steel that, that Roy Hodgson had, but play a bit more attacking football? I don't know. Um, so I think, and I, I mean, they've been flirting with relegation for the longest while. Um, always there and thereabouts. So I will go with um, Palace to to finish 18th and 19th. So I got Watford 20th, Palace 18th, 19th. Brentford are a possibility. I just think they they do score goals, um, and I think they scored more than Norwich last mm. year, um, which is a is a good sign. I I think Norwich are going to stay up. I think sometimes you get those teams where they go, they come up, they go down, and they didn't invest when they came up. They kind of knew, maybe they were here a year too early, but they went down, uh, they, yeah, they came up, went down, kept uh, most of their star players, uh, Max Aarons, Tom Canwell, Buendia, uh, Puki, went back up. Obviously, Buendia's gone, so that's going to be a big miss for them. Um, but I feel like maybe they're ready now. They're ready to at least stay in the Premier League for one year. I haven't really looked at their signings. Brentford, as I said, Brentford, they scored more goals than Norwich last year, um, even though they finished third and obviously won through the playoffs. So I think they, they, they give themselves an opportunity to stay up. I'm going to go Brighton. I'm going to go Brighton. And I've, I, I, I know they play good football and people like Potter and they like the way Brighton play. But the issues that's played them for the last two years, they haven't fixed it. They don't score goals. They create a lot of chances, but they don't score goals. And they haven't bought a striker this summer. So, are you relying on Welbeck and Morpai? To f- I, I would put more money on Ivan Tony scoring goals than I would Welbeck and, and Morpai. So, I think on that, 
there's only so long you can go and 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 uh without scoring goals to stay up in the league they Wait, lost ben... wasn't ben white there what about i say they lost ben oh, white yeah. as well um I'm, i don't i don't again i don't think they even re really replaced him they bought a goalkeeper and they bought uh a, 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 a midfielder from salzburg I, I, don't, I don't think that's enough so i'm gonna go brighton um going down as well in 19th place Okay, damn, we all got Brentford staying up. Golly, I know. We know damn sure that Brent, Brentford are going down. He's <laughs> not in it. <laughs> <laughs> Brentford are going down. Damn man, Javan, what are you gonna go with? Um, for me, I feel like Norwich would have learned their lesson and not go straight back down again. So I will count them out now. I don't know too much about Brentford and I, and Watford. Don't watch the championship much to know, so I'm, I'm just gonna go out there and say Norwich will stay, and the other two will go back down, alongside no. with. He's gonna say West Ham <laughs> again. Southampton. Uh, well, that's what I would say. Southampton because Danny Ings gone. Uh, Wood Prowse apparently to go next. Um, he said Ryan Bertrand. I didn't even know he left. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I I feel like they will go down next season. So that's what I would say. Okay. So there we, so there we have it. There we have it. I don't know which order. You can slap them anywhere. Don't matter to me. Once you're relegated, you're relegated. You could be Every relegated 18th, relegated 20th. You're all relegated. Everyone has got faith in Brentford. Damn. <laughs> Damn, son. Brentford, Brentford, I think it's your bottom. Everyone. <laughs> not me. Rock. No, Javan said Brentford. <laughs> Oh, Javon. Oh, sorry, Javon. You said he said he said not Norwich. He said Norwich. Oh, not, not, oh, not yeah. Norwich. Yeah, yeah. He said Norwich yeah. learned their I lesson. Said Norwich will stay. Yeah, yeah. Fuck I think they learned oh, their okay, lesson okay, and okay. stay. But everyone else out. <laughs> <laughs> Brentford, Watford. I think Norwich oh. will stay up. There we go. All right. We'll see. We'll see. Cool. Um. Right. So now nah, let's 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 see where things get interesting. Let's go to the top where the big boys sit. Top of the table. Um, and let's just let's go. Let's let's go. Let's go right. Let's go. Let's go top four. Let's go top four. So give me your top four teams that you think. Now this is annoying. Once again, we're at this point where the transfers are not done. And and in your what? <laughs> The reason why I say this is because it happened last season. Last season, <clears throat> transfers came in. Some people, so we we end up having this conversation again, um, where uh, where we changed a few things got changed, and it, it was because of some transfers and and some results. So this is what I'm gonna say. Nothing to do with results. It can't be locked transfers. in. Mm. It, it can't be locked in again. But I know we're gonna be locked in. No, but and, we wasn't, we wasn't locked in last time. What we're saying, what we're saying is, what we're saying is, give me your top, your predictions now are going to be your prediction for the season, unless, unless you can give us a valid reason after three weeks time, in three, when the chance no, window closes. Reason, okay, that does, okay, that cool. doesn't include, they lost two out of the first three games. It has yeah. to be something. So nothing on the pitch. It's yeah. got to be. Okay. wide or... Yeah, someone sold or someone. I don't know. Pep, Pep, Pep left after three games. That's fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, because but, um, it's like I think City would win the league if they get Kane. They get Kane, they win the league easy. But yeah, as it stands like, right now, them there now, or you can wait till I they don't possibly sign. Put them there. Or you can possibly wait till they sign and say, "Well, now that they've signed, I'm going to put them as winners." And I think that's a fair enough. Um, I'll go. I'll oh. go first. I'll go first. Right. Oh, if you, by the way, if you put if you put City as winners now, and they don't sign Kane, you can't take him out because they didn't sign Kane. 
Yeah, because you're know, I can. Right now is good enough. Yeah, because you're, <laughs> because you're betting them as they are right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Understand. Understand. Unless, That's however, why I, I unless, can't say them. No, unless... Shh, wait, so that if you uh, if if another team signs someone and you think they can go... Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it yeah. can't be based yeah. on them not signing Kane. Yes, yeah. I get it. Mm. I get it. All right, go on, Nick, then. You go first. Uh, Fourth place, I'm going to Liverpool. Um. Yeah, I think. Yeah, they'll get. They'll get top four. Fourth again. Yeah, they get fourth four. again. Oh, they got third last year. Oh, they got third last year. They got third. third last year. So mm. they're dropping down the league. Fourth. Second, first, they second, third, the third, um, fourth. I mean, I, I think for me, I think the top four is going to be more comfortable this year than <clears throat> that was even the last two years. Uh, Chelsea, Man United were fighting until the end against Leicester to get in a couple of years ago, and and then again Liverpool and Chelsea were fighting against Leicester uh, to get in. Last season, I think he'll be a bit more comfortable this year. Liverpool haven't made any major signings. They bought it, obviously, Canate. Um, that's that's it, isn't it? It's Thiago, Canate. he's ready. He's Alisson one year. signed the new deal. Ready. Oh, yeah. So it's Fabinho signing the new deal. <laughs> um, that's why he was making so much mistakes. He wanted that new contract. Now he's back to rock hands, Alisson. <laughs> but, um, I think, yeah, I, I think they're gonna they're gonna be, they're gonna be okay. You know, Van Dijk's back. <clears throat> Gomez is back. It's hard um, to say that. Maybe, maybe Mane and Firmino might, you know, start scoring again. I mean, Mane had a good end to the season, to be fair. Uh, Firmino was not just doing what he does. Nothing. Um, and Salah, Salah, you know, we'll get on to that in a second. But yeah, I'll, I'll have a Liverpool fourth. <clears throat> I'm going to have Man United third, um, which is, yeah, it's a shame. You know, we finished third. Uh, it's a shame. Years, oh, no, what? we finished first <laughs> two years ago. We finished second last year, and now I'm like, you know, you hoping the next the next step is to win it, but and it is to win it. We're not the only ones in the league. There's other teams in the league who are good, <laughs> and unfortunately, you know, one of them is the champions of Europe, and the others is the gone are the days, and the gone other the ones days. are the champions of England. Who are where we are the Europa League bottle jobs. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a fact. We're starting the season. No, no Cavani, no San. Oh, maybe Sancho might be off the bench. Varanja, like we, we've had a poor preseason in terms of preparation. Uh, players just not available. The man like Langer starting all the games. It's like I, I don't know what <clears throat> what Man United we're gonna get. First That's up. not good enough because. All of the other teams have got their players missing too because they all played for England too and worse in the Euros too. I don't what, know. What, 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 I don't, I don't what, know. What? They, they, they and are, hold on. Last they, season, Man United it, on game week two were six points mm. behind everyone on You're game right. week two. Nick, <laughs> right. ask your so, question. Yeah. Oh, question. therefore, and they finished wait, second, wait, wait. so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't you think you're going to start the season last year? Yeah, nah. uh, no, yeah. no. In your heart of hearts, yeah. <clears throat> Do you trust Oli to bring you a title? No, 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 I don't. But I've said that all the time. I, I, until he until he wins us the title, I don't believe he can win us a title. It's not like so even so even if he gets the squad that he wants this year, you don't think? No, I think whatever I think it we're, is. I think we're one player away from having what I would say is we've got a squad now that is good enough to challenge for the league. We are one player away from me saying that team should win the league. But but okay, so so what so but, what but, I say but, this if you if you had a different manager, do you think this team, team this team would you if we had would that, Klopp, would that change? Yeah, if we had Klopp. Mm -hmm. if we had Tuchel. With this exact team. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think we. I, I'm putting us top two easily, definitely. Okay, okay. Pep to maybe, but it's about the style that he plays. Definitely the way that we play with and the style of players we got, Klopp could get this team to win. 100%. I'm, I would be confident of it. Of course, he might not do it, but I'll be confident of it. Mm. Manager has to come into it. It's like, it just is, you can't, you can't separate the two. You, the, the, the other two, four clubs, the other three clubs, have got world-class managers. Facts. Mm. Champions League winning managers. Fact. And then the team who finished fifth, have got Brendan Rodgers, who is also better than Oli. Like, that's just a fact as well. Like, mm. so... So I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not crying, you know, we'll be tired or look at our terrible manager. I'm happy with Solskjaer doing the job that he's done, but I just I don't have the belief that he can win us a league title. So that's why I can't say you're gonna win the league title. 
with the squad we've got. Um, <clears throat> even if I had a, yeah, we, we'd have to, our squad would have to be stacked. And I say, yeah, I think, I think we can do it. But it's not stacked. It's just very good. Mm. So I'll pass third. But, you know, I've got my own expectations for my United. We have to be breaking 80 points, for example, um, which is, you know, the season before 66. Last year, we got 74. We should have at least got 76 for me. And this year, I want to be hitting 85 or so points. So I, I've still got my expectations for my United. But I'll have us in... Uh, Has he got 74? We got 74 last year, yeah. I think it was, I'm sure it was 74. Uh, Maybe 71. How you get? No, 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 I don't know. Sorry, sorry. It should have been 72 because that game would have been a no. Would it have been a draw? The no game idea. where you guys got a goal a penalty after the final whistle. No, that was the <laughs> second game of the season. <laughs> I mean, I, I, that is not anyway. Anyway, I mean, if, if, if Arsenal's handball was given as a penalty, then we would have got 74 still, and you would have been fifth. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I got us finishing. I got us in third, and then listen. <laughs> As I said, we are competing against the champions of Europe and the champions of England. I honestly believe, and we said it all last year, that all they needed was a striker. This team is ready, but they got nobody to finish the chances. They have just bought a man who has scored 20 plus goals in two consecutive seasons and led his team to their first league title, Syria, in over 10 years. I think it's his, uh, maybe over, maybe about, about 10 years. And he's come back to, to where it all began for him in England Chelsea Football Club. Romelu Lukaku, a 97.5 million pound signing. Near enough a world record, give or take a Jack Grealish. <laughs> I him to be the final piece to the puzzle. And with Thomas Tuchel, who within six months turned Chelsea from mid-table fodder to champions of Europe, I'm banking on Chelsea winning the Premier League this year. Um... And I've got City in second. The only thing that changed my mind if City go out and buy a world-class striker. And we know who we're talking about when I say that. So I've got Man City second and Chelsea first. Okay. All right. Carl, where are you putting your money this year? Top four. <clears throat> right. It was for like, a while I've been thinking about it and it was kind of like how Neats laid it out. But I did some soul searching. I did some soul searching and I and I and I and I just realized Pep Guardiola is probably Forget the players that he has at his disposal. Forget, <laughs> forget what the team, uh, the opposition that he's up against to go and do, go out and buy. People came here and they said, oh, he can't make his style work here in the Prem. He's not mm -hmm. going to do well. You can't play that kind of ticky-tacky football in the Prem. This is the, the Prem hard life, big tackles. It, it, it don't... No, no, no. Pep came and he said, listen, all right. Oh, we're gonna oh do this. you just we're say gonna, it we're already. Do, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this my way. And you know what I re and you know what I realized? Pep Guardiola, I don't care what anyone has to say. Pep Guardiola is the greatest league manager of all time. And you know what? I'm gonna give it to him because the man came after being bucks left, right, and center to Liverpool and lost the league title after they had a group great two years off the back of like centurions and all of that and they lost the league title to liverpool they came back without a striker false nine and destroyed the league you know what i'm a, i'm gonna give it to joseph guardiola and say you know what chelsea can have their lukaku i'll raise your jack Grealish, and i'll give another 25 assists to my false nine there we go it's all right. They can have a Romelu Lukaku. It's okay. Pep got this. Pep, 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 Pep has seen it and said, "All right, they can have they they can have him. We got this. Pep gonna win this." But Chelsea will grab a second. 
Don't grab a close second. I'm not going to say what I said last season where they'll win it by 10, 15 points. That ain't happening. This <laughs> that ain't happening this season. But they'll win it. They will win it. And I'll put Chelsea in second. Chelsea got a very good team. The only thing that I have, the only problem that I have with Chelsea is that the formation and the, and, and the style of football that Tuchel gets them to play. Yes, it's very effective and it's even more effective against the bigger teams. I'm actually, I'm actually expecting him to probably have the best head-to-head record against the big six. No, I'm not even going to say the top six because I don't expect Arsenal and Spurs to be in the top six, but the big six clubs. Against the big six, I expect him to have the best head-to-head amongst all of them. I expect Chelsea to have the best head-to-head, but I think Man City will heavily outweigh and outclass Chelsea in the rest of the league. I just think that the the the, the formation and tactics that Tuchel deploys is is too narrow with the with the whole Jorginho, Kante, Havertz all very narrow, and the only width that they have is like Reese James and Chilwell um, overlapping fullbacks. The smaller team will be very happy to just sit compact in the middle and say, "All right, break us down." That's why he. I mean, I know he was still a new manager, but he got a, he, his fair share of draws at Chelsea in the league. Yeah, they you know stumbled to the finish line and got top four, but in the Champions League it was far more effective because it's better against bigger oppositions because they like to attack you because they're going for the win. Whereas smaller teams, they're like, well, we ain't got a chance in beating Chelsea. We're going to be doing a sitting back, and I just feel like if he stays with his narrow formation, he will pick up his fair few shares of of kind of I want to say bored draws, but he's fair share fair, fair share of draws, and I think Man City will just go out and you know just I think they I, I think they do a madness I think they do a fair I, I think they do a bit, so I've got Man City first, Chelsea second, and I think Man United will take third, um, and Liverpool fourth. I just think Liverpool are going backwards at the moment. They're not looking. They're not looking what they once were. I think they've lost a bit of confidence. I think the money that's going around and the the, 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 the way teams are strengthening, they kind of just looked at it and it's, it's kind of knocked the stuffing out of them. They got the injury last season, the poor season they had last season, haven't really made no big major sign-in to, to, to say, look, we're back on... Yet. We're, we're, we're back on board. Don't rule us out. It's kind of, yeah, Liverpool still lingering there. And what? They, they, they need signings. Yeah, they do. They're about to sign him back. They do because Firmino, F- Firmino is not Firmino is not going to be the one. I mean, I did see, I did see one game. It was it it it, it was the one one draw game before yesterday's game against Osasuna. Uh, who was it? Af- Athletic Bilbao. They went with Salah up top uh, and Yota and Mane wide. So I don't know if 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 he's exploring that as an option because. You know, I, I don't know if Firmino is going to deliver, so he might he he might want to go with them three, and then he would have like Hen, Henderson, um, uh, Fabinho, and 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 what's his name, Thiago, in the middle with with them three up top. It'd be an it'd be an option. I mean, if he does that, and he generally says, you know what, Firmino, you're dropped this season, and Salah's going to lead the line with Mane and you're up in the front three. That's food for thought. That's 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 a different Liverpool for me. That's a different Liverpool. But if Firmino's still leading that front line, nah, man, they're finishing fourth. They will they will they will they will grab fourth, mm. and that's that for me. Mm. Um. All right. Cool. I'm gonna jump in there because I feel like certain men are getting disrespected. This <laughs> league, this league. Certain men are getting disrespected in this league. Certain men like who? Can't sleep on Jurgen. Can't sleep oh on Jurgen. Oh this guy is always saying Jürgen. he's a flop and Liverpool's this and that, and here we're talking about sleeping on Jurgen. Bear in mind, yeah, Mm-mm. Virgil is back. Virgil Van Dijk, one of the greatest Premier League defenders we've ever seen in the past ten years, is back, and the squad is. Very good. Squad's very back. good. But sometimes, sometimes we get blinded by by new signings. Sometimes we see a bright new sign and think that's going to be the person that's going to lead certain man here and there. And you forget the you know players that we got on offer currently in the Premier League. And let's not let's not let's not you know play the Salah Salah Romani are the two of the best strikers in the Premier League. Um, 
So if they're on fire, Virgil's comfortable at the back, Trent and Robbo are doing their thing, if Robbo comes back from injury, um, then, you know, we could have... I think Jurgen Klopp's coming coming back fighting this year. I actually do. I actually do. I think they ain't going to be sitting around in their laurels. I think they'll start I think, well. I think a strong four finish is a, is a comeback. Do you think a strong four? No, you know, nah. Claire of Leicester. I don't think so. I think I think it's gonna. I think they'll be in the title race this year. I think they will be in the title race. I, but I, I, think, I think all four teams should be in the title race. Like, I don't think all four. I don't think all four will be in the title. I think there will be a three horse race this year, hmm. and I'm putting Jurgen Klopp in the race firmly. However, <laughs> <laughs> however, <laughs> um, I don't think they'll win it. I don't think they'll win it. I think they'll be fighting for the top for the top place. And and then what? Henderson slips. And yeah, <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't I don't feel I don't feel they got enough in the tank. But uh, the team that I think is going to win the Premier League this year is the team that I think is the most complete. I think the team that's going to win it will have good enough structure throughout the squad as well as a good squad depth to come in and out um, and as well as a manager capable of doing it and for me that is also going to be Chelsea I think that Romelu Romelu Lukaku signing probably underrated still in in, in where he is I I wouldn't put him at the top echelons of players in world football but I I certainly wouldn't put him near the bottom um, treated horribly, horribly when he was last in the country. By you! By you! By you! By his big toe! <laughs> <laughs> and, and had a poor... Had, no, it wasn't himself. You could tell he wasn't really himself. Wasn't enjoying his football as much as the basketball. What's your, what's your nickname, the preseason. Small game Romelu. And trust me, <laughs> this is the reason why. See what Carl said? Carl said they'll do well in, in, in the games against the big teams, but now they've got a man to just not chuck them other games. The small <laughs> games, the games you don't need to get the big goals. Yeah, you said they ain't going to be beating Man City 2 3 4 0, but you might get a Jorginho penalty here and there. You <laughs> might get a uh, deflected goal from Pulisic or whatever. But in the small games, you've got Brentford 4 0 at home, Romelli 1 2 3, and maybe <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. He's coming, man, and I, 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 think, I, think, one, two, three. I think the squad. I think the squad is ready for me. I think the squad is ready for the chance to. Anyway, last year, I thought it was ready to chance for the league. It didn't. This year, I think it's ready to win the league. Now they got that striker. I think it's ready to win the league. And, and the, and the so, manager. I think the manager is. Cool. The fact is, Chelsea finished fourth last year. Cool. I don't know what manager is going to be there at the end of the season. It's true. <laughs> I don't know. I'm genuinely. I'm not even being. I'm not even being. I'm not even joking. I've seen Chelsea managers start the season thinking. They got a good enough manager to do something, and at the end of the season, the manager ain't even there anymore. So <laughs> if Ruko has a bad start, someone else could take it and probably still win the league. <laughs> um, so yeah, but yeah, Tuchel's a good manager. Um, he, I think he. I'm can telling do- you from now, if Chelsea have a bad start, I don't. They are. They are not winning the league. Like you, the other teams in the league, it will be too. They literally have to hit the ground running. They have to carry it on because I think the other teams are up there. We'll have we'll have that same quality and carry all the way through. So I if, think if, it's gonna be if they don't start well, then I don't think they'll win. They they just won't win it. Name it won't happen. Maybe I, I don't understand. I don't think I don't That's think they'll start. I don't, I, but in, in a cup, yeah, sorry, in the in the league, there's no way that they'll get sacked um by in December and then go on and win the league. It's not I I just don't see that happening. The thing is, the thing is I don't actually think he will start well, to be honest, because you got, um, I think Chelsea got Arsenal, Liverpool, Spurs, and Man City in their first six games. So the fixtures don't even allow you to necessarily go on that that run of teams to just beat. So I don't think you will necessarily start well anyway. Too cool or no too cool. I just feel like, but I do feel like when crunch time comes, small game Romelu will will um will do his bit. Will do his bit, and then um yeah. So that's Chelsea to win the league. I'm going to go... I'm st- I still think it's going to be a free horse race. However, Man City will finish second, I think. Listen, I, listen. If Man City signed Harry Kane, that's it. Done. I'm swapping it around now. I'm swapping it around straight away. Straight away. Like, the day they sign, 
we might as well record then because that's going to be it. And then, to, like, if he signs tomorrow, <laughs> well, we record tomorrow. And I'm saying Kane because that's going to be that's that. Sorry, I'm not saying Kane. I'm saying City. The City will win the league because th- therefore, for me, that makes yeah, that squad even more complete. complete. Yeah, more complete than the Chelsea than the Chelsea squad is, um, and even more depth. Well, he's in. Everyone's in first striker because Gabriel Jesus can't, lift, can't lift, can't lead a man to a title, uh, a team to a title. <laughs> so they need to sort that out. Um, but yeah, I, I actually don't think it's going to happen personally. I just feel like. They spent their money on Grealish. They made their choice, yeah. and they don't want to spend that <clears> kind of money on even more than that on, on Kane. But we'll see, we'll see. And then, um, so that's one, two, Liverpool in third. But I said tight. It's gonna be. I think it'll be tight. One, two, three, and uh, languishing in fourth place, um, despite uh, what you might call a very good summer. Hang tight, Ed. Um, <clears throat> Manchester United, uh, Varane. Uh, he's in the Premier League. Jaden Sancho, who is about seven months too late because I thought he was going to be playing the season last year, but he wasn't even here. <laughs> um, yeah, for me, the manager, as I said, plays a big part of it. I don't think the manager's good enough to get Man United back. I think they're going to fall, you know, the second last year and fall to fourth this year. Um, and, you know, if he really goes into the season with McFred in the middle, then he can't, he yeah, can't, he, can't. he can't expect more than that. I'm just saying. Listen, you say you can't. The season starts on Saturday, uh, Friday even, and uh, you still and that man is still there. I'm, Pereira's back, and I thought you told me he was dead. So <laughs> you know, if that's what he wants to do, cool. But I don't think it's going to help. Um, and you know, maybe maybe that will get resolved, and we'll we'll, re- we'll revisit. Maybe there'll be a top four challenge, but uh, or a title challenge. But yeah, for me, I think Man United will nick it last day of the season fourth place um that's the last day of the season yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Come on, hey. I, I, i'm gonna tell you now I, unless we're in fa cup final and champions league final if we're nicking top four last day of the season ollie's got to go i'm saying that right now so <laughs> that better not happen in it we'll see man that's that's, that's what i think um we've got nat trying to join us um, with his connection, we'll see. We'll see if that. We'll see if that comes through. If the camera um, is working, restart your computer. That's what the IT people say. <laughs> I, well, his connection is currently at one out of ten, so oh. I think it's more than the camera. Maybe, but, maybe um, just do an audio thing that if you can't yeah. um, join with. Take the off video. your camera if, if you can hear us. Take off your camera <laughs> if that works. Um, Javern, top four. Well, what are you going with? So in fourth place. I'm going to say Liverpool. Okay. Third place, we'll have an asterisk. Who's coming with this asterisk? What's the asterisk? And they will be Manchester City. Whoa! Excuse me, what? No, wait, I didn't hear. I didn't. No, my, 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 my headphones kind of disconnected. That's <laughs> what I said there. That's why that? I said there is an asterisk for third with Manchester City. Whoa. Golly. Second place will be Don't you dare. Don't you also with an asterisk. Chelsea. Oh, stop it! What? Stop your foolishness! What? Whoa, stop your whoa, foolishness! Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 Javan, before you finish your, 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 the words that come out of your mouth, before you finish, let me ask you a question. <laughs> Do you actually want to legitimately win this little head-to-head battle of who gets the most predictions correct. Person, do I want to win do you, it? Do you not? Do you not want to win? Like to get the little, the little imaginary trophy? Yeah, I got more. Predict- Listen, I won. Like I won two trophies last season. <laughs> I won the I won the dark horses. <laughs> I, I, I won I won the <laughs> Champions League. <laughs> I won the league winners. <laughs> I can't like. I know what I'm saying, mate. <laughs> you had Chelsea. Win yeah, you had Chelsea win the league. Yeah, yeah, Chelsea's Chelsea. winners, uh, and they won the Champions League. <laughs> no, because your Champions League winners was not Chelsea. Okay, well, 
I'll put Chelsea second uh, with an asterisk. And What's the Manchester... asterisk? <laughs> And, and does first place have quadruple asterisks or they all have okay okay all right you know what for me personally this this is just how i think it would be but all jokes aside this that, that was obviously the joke um i would put manchester united first but for me i will say chelsea first manchester united second and when I say second, I mean by a point. <laughs> uh, Man City third with an asterisk. That's because Kane ain't here. Kane comes here and there's a shuffle up. And fourth place Liverpool. Um, How have you got Man United just a point behind Chelsea? And above Manchester City. And above Manchester City. What's your, what's your reasoning about it? Listen, it's possible, of course. Like I said, once Kane comes... Then okay, no, but, no, it but, changes. But if it doesn't, if it doesn't, if he doesn't come, this is it. So I'm, I'm asking what your reason is behind Man United being a point behind. Is it Manchester the... United finished second last season, mm. about twelve points behind City. Mm -hmm. I don't care. It was. No, but, second but, but, last but what I'm saying season. is, they they, they were a yeah, wings of City. Let me ask, I just want to know his reason. I'm not fighting it. Like it's your prediction. I just want to know the reason behind. Second it. last season. Second last season, and they brought in Sancho. Mm. Varan, Varan's coming in. Pace merchant. But well, should be coming in. Yeah. But we we don't know if he comes in. That's what I'm trying to say. Right now, it like my positions are based on the players that should that that are coming that if they come in and and I it's very hard for me to sit here because because then those players are not here that all right that are, what we're saying is, here. Right. so okay. it's hard for me to L put Lukaku's where I want to actually say Lukaku's at Chelsea has he signed yes yes, yes. It's, yes. Done. it's done Lukaku's at Chelsea so where's the where's the video where's the it's, it's the loading tweet? it's it's rendering Lukaku's at Chelsea <laughs> Varan and Sancho at Man United Grealish is at City Canate is at Liverpool that's it that's the only deals. Worth talking about has been done. Chelsea might sign Kunde. Man City might sign uh, Kane. We might sign a midfielder, but we're not. We can't really count that right now. We don't know. I'm asking you based on that. Why do you think Man United will be that close to Chelsea and above Man City? Listen, I don't have an issue with your prediction. I just want to. I just want to know. The reason I say that was last season we, you guys finished second. We finished fourth. Yes, we we won the Champions League, but. We can't, and what a lot of people are doing is sleeping on Manchester United. Like, Harry Maguire has come out of a very good tournament. Look at this guy. <laughs> Harry, <laughs> Harry Maguire has come out of a very good tournament. Luke Shaw as well. Um, Manchester United, for me personally, and now they've, if, oh, I know what I'm saying, if Sancho coming in is a big, there's a big jump for them. But I hear I hear what we're saying, the other teams are. But but for me personally, for me personally, I think Manchester United will come second again, if not challenge for that title. And I think this is the hardest it's ever been for me to pick a top four. Because I feel like right now the top four anyone could finish anywhere. Anyone could finish anywhere. So I, right now I think the top floor is is a fluid front three. <laughs> it's a fluid front four because <laughs> It could be Manchester United. It could be it, it's so for me. I've never seen the top four so fluid. Like normally you say, yeah, you know what, Man City will win it. But I can't sit down and say right now to you and say Liverpool will finish fourth because they can go and well finish first, like or second. Like it's so. I just feel like it's very very hard. And me putting let's say Liverpool fourth doesn't mean they'll be like yeah. fifty points behind first. Yeah. There might be three points, <laughs> one point. I, I, it, it's, I, I couldn't say right now. So right now, it's more of what I feel like. It's more of who I want to win it more than who I think because it's, it's so much harder. So that's why I will. I'm gonna go with Chelsea first. Um, Manchester United second. Um. Man City third, Liverpool fourth. But like I said, Kane comes to City and that for me could change. I feel like Kane coming, like Pep has, I have to say it, Pep has pedigree. Like 
if Kane goes there, everything changes and City win. Like, I don't even, it doesn't matter who comes second or fourth, City win. <laughs> City just win. It's, yeah. just, it's, it's that plain and simple. They just win it because Kane is going to score goals and they are going to put chances upon chances onto Kane. Like, it's going to happen. So they're going to win it. Like, there's, there's no doubt about it. So that's why it's, right now it's hard because I feel like it's anyone's title right now. But Kane go there, then it becomes City's title. So that's why I put it... That's why... That's my reasoning behind my top four. It's not going to be like they're like points, like bajillion points ahead, behind each other. It could be one. It could be two. It no, could even not be a bajillion, one. just a, a trillion. It, hey, hey. Isn't, they can all be on 90 points. And it's just goal difference. Like, like that's how mad. I mean, I if we open it on ninety points, and goal difference. The rest of the league is trash because, like, fifth place would be on like forty-five points. <laughs> <laughs> like, it it could happen. It could happen. Not that it would, but that's how tight I feel like it would be. Like fourth place, you could be fourth place with ninety points because mm. you conceded one less goal, or sorry, one more goal. Like, it's yeah. That's that's why my prediction is what it is. It's not based on like no agenda or anything it's just that i feel like it'll be super close like mad close okay but yeah it'll be revisited once if kane comes through but if kane don't come through then oh, obviously locked into what it is no. mm -hmm. okay cool um nat are you there can you hear us <laughs> Yeah, yes. Hello. I can hear you. Yes, we can hear you. We can hear you. Okay, cool. How you guys doing? All good, bro. How you doing? How you got doing? a little jib going on top of your head there, yeah? <laughs> Listen, it's meant to be um twisted off and that, but I took it out to let it breathe. Oh, good, good. This is young Neeks, young Neeks in the making. <laughs> <laughs> young Neeks. YG Neeks. <laughs> um, so you, you came at you came at a good time. We're predicting the top four teams at the moment. Um okay. it's been a few hot takes some people have disrespected in this discussion not really rating your boys this year um but what what do, what would you put as a what would you put as your top four this year uh my top four you, really, you guys already know what my top four is going to be because obviously I, I have to back my team every season to win the league so obviously liverpool first okay. and then um Everyone else can just fill in after that, and you look and no, decide. you do. No. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, um, I I heard what you guys were saying about um City, and obviously, like they have they lost Aguero, the and they have who's what's his bad name? Gabriel. Jesus. Yeah, they didn't lose Aguero. The they kicked him out. They got rid. They got rid. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have no faith. I have no faith in Jesus, like as in like Gabriel Jesus, because like yeah, as opposed as opposed to Christ. Yeah, you know, no, no, I have faith in Christ, <laughs> not, not Gabriel Jesus. <laughs> so, but but I still I still see City like as a force. They bought um what's his name Jack Grealish, so that's another problem to deal with. So I still see them fin finishing second. And then third, I put United. Because somehow, some way, you lot managed to finish very high. No matter how badly you lot play. Yeah. Because everyone we is underrating them and they go under the radar. Because everyone's yeah. like, oh, Maguire is a fridge. Oh, there's oh, every all the bands. Yeah. While well, they just go about and do their thing, finishing the second. And, and then they bought they bought Sancho. I don't expect him to trust. No bang. one's talking about. Like, I don't expect him, I don't expect him to bang like straight away, but I expect him to do well. He's like, banging. So I uh, so I see them finishing. Like, and, and we got the best centre back in the league now. Who? The World Cup winning Rafael Varane, four Champions Leagues. 
the, the guy that was carried by Ramos. Mm, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know that. Mm, no, that was Gerard PK for Spain. No, that was. I think about someone else. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Yeah. But yeah, you you guys will finish third, and then and then fourth, I put. I was gonna put Leicester, but then I remember Chelsea are a team. <laughs> I'm a, I'm gonna say Chelsea, but I don't remember who you lot bought. Lukaku. That's yeah, it. I should put you lot fifth for that. But yeah, <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna stick to that. I'm putting Leicester fourth because they bought one striker. Yeah, that they bought one striker and they that, bought this that, midfielder. That. Yeah, and they bought this midfielder. Ooh, and he's is strong. Bakary Samara. Like, yeah, him. Bukhari, I saw him wrestle some man off him in the in the community short. Like shaking off the Man City players like they were flies, bro. They, Say, they Leicester finally get them. fourth this season, yeah? <laughs> yeah, no, Leicester, Leicester can do it, man. Leicester Too can do it. <laughs> if Chelsea finished fifth, do you know how embarrassing that would be? That would be so <laughs> embarrassing. Chelsea cannot finish fifth. Well, not that. You, you put your team first. I know you say you're going to back your team. You, you can't be happy with what you got so far. Canate. Listen, listen. And listen, you lost Wijnaldum. Listen, you see, you see Wijnaldum, yeah? I have, an, I have a Wijnaldum agenda. But now you do. You probably loved him before. No, I didn't. No, well, no, no, I didn't love him. But I, had a, I always had this issue with Wijnaldum, yeah? When he played for us, he didn't, he didn't play the same as when he would play for, like, Holland. Or any other team he will go and play for. As soon as he comes to Liverpool, like I don't know what he does, but for but for Holland, he'll be going up there scoring goals. He'll but but isn't, that clock? Heroes. isn't that clock? Because none of your midfielders really score goals, so you have to start thinking: Is it the system? Because he literally he left one season in Liverpool. He played 30, I think he played pretty much every Premier League game, and didn't do anything in terms of goals or assists. I think he maybe got one or two, and then he goes to Netherlands. Uh, you know, a month later. And he's right up there. So it must it's a system, it can't be the but player. He's, but he's playing in the same position. Well, but you're not doing the same job. Liverpool's midfield is there to run around and and win the ball. Yes, yeah, so Where run around like, and, and kick the ball in the net. Yeah. It's not that hard. All right, so back to the point anyway. God tells them not to do that. Back to the point. You bought Konate and you think you're gonna go from you're gonna return to the champions. Yeah, no, no, listen. Um we a lot of our guys that were injured last season are back. They've all had a full preseason. Salah rested and had a full preseason. He didn't have to go to where do you call this place? The Olympics. He didn't have to worry about nothing. He just had to relax and come to preseason. The same with Mane. He didn't have to go to no tournament or nothing. He just had to relax. So them men are going to be firing this season, goals upon goals. Yeah, and uh, Robertson. Robertson. Robertson and I, let, let me tell you something. Trent was resting. Robertson might be injured, but he'll be fine. You see, Tasimikas, he was in Klopp's basement. I think, I, think the tea, was I think the tea's silent. Yeah, he was watching. He was watching Andrew Robertson's um, assist all season. Yeah, and he knows what to do. I have faith in that guy. He'll do well. I have faith in him as well. Four four million defender on fantasy football, so he better do something, isn't it? <laughs> do a thing. Did you? Did you? I don't know if you lot watched our no, last preseason game. I heard he across. Absolutely. He put, in, he put in a bad boy across here, yeah, and guess he was on the other end of it. Firmino. That's the next guy I'm going to talk about. That guy is ready. This is his time, man. He's got to do a little thing. I hope you arrest your rest your, finally, your what, He's finally me. ready after how many years? He's, he's ready now, yeah. Listen, Firmino is going to boss the Premier League. Get me? He doesn't even need to have school goals. He just needs to create the create oh, the pass. Here we go. Process. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. So he's very, he's finally ready, but he doesn't need to score goals. So he wasn't ready before, even though he wasn't scoring goals. And he's now ready, and he still doesn't need to score goals. I don't know if you can understand. Firmino doesn't have. Firmino does can't do nothing wrong in my eyes. Yeah, he's he's just he can just do whatever he wants as long as we win. Firmino did what was needed to be done. <laughs> I'm telling you, and and we still have Diego Jota as well. Don't forget that. Diego Jota, when he shoots, he always scores. I'm telling you for free. I hold that. Yeah, do you want me to pull up, pull up them stats? Do you want me to pull up them stats, Nat? No, no, listen, <laughs> when he listen. Shoots, he always scores. <laughs> listen, listen. I'm not talking about stats here. I'm just saying, <laughs> isn't it? Jota, that's my guy. He will score. We have, we have, we have enough players, man. Like the only thing, like the only thing I wanted was like a 
a like a uh what do you what's the word? You know them strikers are always scoring like bears. Oh, you mean strikers? Um, yeah, <laughs> I would ideally want one of those. Yeah, but with the system we have, I forgot score. what they were called because you had familiar for so long. <laughs> our winger score, our fullback score, everyone scores in it, so I don't have to worry like too tough. And we got Van Dyke, so we ain't, we won't be leaking goals. So everything's Gucci, man. It's a fresh, brand new Liverpool squad. Naby Keita's ready. Oh, it's oh, the same squad. It's it's ready, same, it's the same squad. But you know what? Speaking <laughs> after listening to Nat say all of those things, I think we actually forgot one team to actually win the Prem. Who? Uh, PSG. <laughs> they're winning everything. I don't care. They're winning everything. They're coming and they're winning the Prem too. Like. <laughs> Nah, but all jokes aside, nah, I'm sorry, but all I'm hearing is a... I, 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 I don't know. Back. Everyone's back. I don't know. I don't know what I'm hearing. We, we brought back our, our young our young G, what's his name? Harvey Elliott to come and do his thing as well in the Premier League. Bully all you, you your your defenders now. Yeah, he did it in the Championship. Now he's going to do it in the Premier League. Uh, For your me. sakes, nah, I hope you are right. But for <laughs> Listen, I, I think there's going to be about ten points separating um, one to four, whoever, whoever the position, whoever finishes where, which makes it a close season because that means with you know three or so games to go, everyone's within a mathematical shout. Um, and at different points of the season, you know, Liverpool fans, ah, oh, see, I told you we're back, and they fall away. And Chelsea, ah, oh, my striker Romelu, and then you know he falls off, and and then you know all of a sudden. Out of nowhere, Jada Sancho wins it for Man United. Yep, we finished second. Exactly. And we finished second. Nope. <laughs> when do you not put um, Spurs in all of this? Uh, we'll bring that up. Huh? When uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll get we'll get onto them. We'll, Nat, just before we move on, um, can you give us your uh bottom three teams that you think are going to go down very quickly? Because we've been we just bottom right three, there. bottom three, Norwich. And I'm begging Burnley, go away. Burnley. And mm. and um Brentford. Norwich, Burnley, and Brentford. That Burnley yeah. was not a bad shout, to be fair. I should have Listen, um, trust in Sean. Trust. trust am, in Sean. I am begging Burnley to go all my days. The amount of teams they've robbed off points because they're so stubborn. I won't let I won't concede, man. Go away. Oh. Yeah, basically. But that's not the point. <laughs> I'm sure it would do everybody a favour if they're gone. And I, 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 I said them, Brent, Wait. Let's, um... Yeah. Okay. Gonna... So, that is our... That's our thing. Chelsea uh, are the Neek Sports... Uh, Overall winners in terms of what we we predict as a as a, as a consensus together. We've all agreed. We've all come to the agreement that Chelsea will, will win the league. Um, Wait, that's not okay. Listen, majority Just wins. Just to let it. you know, majority remember, wins. majority. Wins. I did say that my top. Devon says Chelsea is going to win the league. All right, let's move. My right. top, yes, no, I have not finished. I'm saying, remember, <laughs> I said that it's a fluid front four. <laughs> fluid. <laughs> So it Chelsea, could, you said Chelsea will win the fourth, Premier League fourth, again. Fourth could be winners. Second could be winners. Third could be winners. Uh, it's fluid, isn't it? So at the end of the day, my prediction is right. Locked in, <laughs> Javan. <laughs> listen to my mouth. We do not do fluid. You said Chelsea <laughs> will listen, win the league. We, ha- and it's we have locked. to. We have to. Locked. It's locked. It's locked. Listen. In. It's not listen. FM. A lot of things, a lot of things have been going on in the world of late, and things ain't in a straight line anymore. It's fluid. <laughs> things move fluidly. <laughs> fluid. Right. So, um, all right. Let's rattle through. <laughs> let's rattle. Through, let's, let's 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 rattle through these yeah. fifth and sixth places now. Um, Carl, <clears throat> you want to start with fifth and sixth places? Fifth Who do you think is going to be Europa League? Europa League teams. Ah, uh, um, I'll be honest with you. Damn, the rest of the league outside of that top four that we just mentioned is rubbish. <laughs> but I'll be honest with you, fifth and sixth, 
going to be Leicester and Spurs for me. I've actually, I, I, I've got it down as Leicester to finish fifth. Aston Villa to finish sixth. Mm. They've got, okay. they've made, they made a couple, they've made a couple decent signers. I can't lie. They've made a couple decent signers. All right. Javan, what, Javan, what are you going with? Uh, Leicester and Spurs. So Leicester fifth, Spurs sixth. Okay. I that, see, oh, see once again. What? See ah oh, Kane. That's if Kane stays. If Kane goes, I I don't see Tottenham yeah, we'll, anywhere we'll, near that. Get that. We'll change that. We'll change. We'll, we'll, we'll change that. We got them to change that. At the end. Right now. Yeah, as, yeah, as it is right now. Right now. As, as it, it is right now. Yeah. Yeah. But, same. I got Leicester, Spurs. I think Leicester. I mean, they won two domestic cups. If you want to count the community, oh, no, it's not, not cup, is it? Two domestic trophies, I guess. Because <laughs> one's a shield. Um, in the last couple of months, they've it made some decent signings. If they keep Madison, you know, they've got Pats and Daka, Kelechi, Vardy, Harvey Barnes. Hopefully, he doesn't get injured as a full season. Fofana's out, so that could affect them. But I mean, they've got Evans, yeah. they've got Soyonchu. Uh, where is Evans actually? He didn't play. Yeah, the Evans, Evans is injured for a few more weeks, about four oh, okay. weeks. All right, so no, not too, too, not a massive injury. Um, so yeah, I think Leicester fifth again. I mean, will they be happy again with fifth to say, oh, you know, we're solidified in Europa League, or are they going to feel like ah, another season missed out top four again? I don't know. And I think Spurs. It yeah, won't be yeah. a. It won't be a miss this time, though. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> it I'm, won't I'm, be yeah. a miss. Um, and Spurs. Yeah, landslide. Yeah, they keep, if they keep Kane, I think they'll finish in the top six. Christian Romero is a good sign-in. Um, but even if they lose Kane, it depends how they replace Because if they replace him with, like, Lataro Martinez, then I think Shoot. they could still get sixth. But if they lose Kane and they don't replace with Martinez, or even worse, M- Arsenal get Martinez, then I think oh. Arsenal could come in um, and get sixth. But I'll go with uh, Leicester and Spurs. Did Arsenal even finish above... Uh, did they finish above 10th last season? Eighth. Yeah. Eighth, I have you know. Um, <laughs> right. Oh, well, Larry okay. might get them seventh. Nah. What, nah. What are you? What are you? What are you predicting? I didn't. I didn't put Chelsea in the top four, did I? You didn't. No. Yeah. So, so Chelsea. Um, Chelsea. Chelsea fifth, and then um, I have Villa here, sixth place, just because of their signings. I think they they could do a thing. What are you reading off of? You getting help? No, 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 I got my phone. <laughs> That's it, help. Oh. Wait, so <laughs> you, wait, 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 wait. you got fifth, Chelsea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chelsea fifth. Yeah, and it's only because they decided to go by that Lukaku, that guy. That can well and truly happen, though. Tuchel gets sacked. I said because they signed Lukaku. Low. I think you need yeah. to respect the champions of Europe, my bro. No, no, no. No, you never go back and sign a guy you, you, you what's it called, sold. Mm-mm. Especially when he has a touch like that. All right. Okay. All right. Yes, now. So you don't go back to your sorry, ex. Sorry. I've got Chelsea fifth, and who's sick? Villa. 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 Oh, Villa. Villa. They're going to do it. No, Leicester in the top six. Leicester this is fourth. fourth. This is fourth. Oh, sorry, I missed it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. I'm good. <laughs> um, right. Okay. So, a lot of disrespect. A lot of disrespect. Coming, it's coming my way. Um, so you don't know where Arsenal now? No, 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 I don't even dare put them in fifth or sixth. Don't you <laughs> dare, then now you are disrespecting. <laughs> Listen, don't you hear, dare. Hear, me, hear me out. No, I, I can't. Think, uh, listen, hmm. I'm in you more pain. Your own self 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 self. Let me just say this now. I'm in more pain than all of you, maybe bar Kyle right now. But I'm in, I'm in pain looking at my team play so badly um, in preseason. In the end of last season, the start of last season. In fact, then last season wasn't too bad, but especially the spot was quite bad. Um, 
And honestly, looking at it from the outside point of view, um, it don't look good. Don't look good at all. However, however, I there's something about um uh, I don't even know how to say it. There's something about the squad that for some reason I think will improve on last year. I agree. It would improve on eighth. Yeah, it would improve on eighth. Um now I uh, I think Arsenal will make another sign between now and, and, and the end of August, which is fine. We can revise that then. But Arsenal last year were the f- you know statistically were the third best defensive team in the league. Um they ended and the year eight. they ended they ended the year twenty twenty one, I guess. <laughs> You know, the league started in 2021 and ended the year in third in the table. So they had a good start to the year and the end of the season. No, put your hand down. Not question time. This is my time. <laughs> um, and I actually got two things to say about it. The first one, I actually really do like Ben White, personally. I feel like he's a great signing. I know I've only seen him a couple of times, but he's, he, 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 can, he can play football. The problem is the rest of the squad ain't good. The rest of the squad ain't good. And it's all, it has to all be on who, well, I guess who they sign from now on end of August and then the team to start scoring goals. Um, and so I'm going to hedge my bets. I'm going to hedge, I'm going to hedge my bets. i got to have a hot take, right? And my hot take has got to be that Arsenal will finish in the European place this season. Um... Wait, what does that uh, mean? You're I'm going to put them. I'm going to put them. I'm going to put them fifth. I'm going to put Arsenal fifth. Nah. Uh, oh, by the God. way, I don't think fifth fifth should be nothing nothing to shout about. Really, like that should be nothing to shout about. So if we finish fifth. It's like okay, all right, cool. So I'm not even gassed about that. I I, I feel like. Bottle job, Brendan. We don't know what's going to happen with them. Can we? You can, can we call him a bottle job anymore? He's got his one, two. He, he, bottled, he bottled fifth place, and fourth place again. Oh, yeah, but since then, since then he's won oh, two yeah. finals. I guess you want to call it. Oh, you're talking about two completely different competitions. We're talking about the Premier League and the Premier League. He knows he's known for bottling it, and I cannot <laughs> cannot change that. He bottled the Premier League. Oh, yeah, four. so they were in the yeah, top so. four. Yeah, so okay, okay, okay. So, so he'll be in top four again and bottle it. Aston Villa were in the top four. Did they bottle the top four? Nah. Oh, oh, nah. but Leicester but did. Come on, let's not, let's two not, years. let's two not do this. There's lots of teams two that were in the top four that didn't finish in the top four. Does that mean no. that they bottled it? Let's not, Come let's on, let's not, not do Lester this, guys. Four. Let's not do this. It's not it's me not doing good. it. It's you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Fact. Let's throw in the top it's four. It's you. Yeah, let's throw in the top it's not a bottle. Just because you. Oh let's throw it in the top four. Over 38 games. Wait, wait, wait. Well, let's throw top four more than anyone. They weren't good enough to finish year. in the top four. Say that again. They didn't yeah, bottle they it. Yeah, they were. Yeah, let's they throw in the top four more than any any other team in the Premier League. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah, they were in the top four. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't. Well, if the guy doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't have a debate about last season again. Yeah, we're gone. We're gone past that. But I believe we will bottle it again. And I'm going to put them six. Um, Didn't even bottle in the wait, first place. Wait, but Ramon, if you, if you say they bottle it again, does that just mean that they don't get fourth and get fifth again? That's the bottle. So why do Arsenal get fifth if they bottle fourth and get fifth again? Yeah, explain that. Uh, one, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Listen, yeah. I think, I think it's going to be a race sense, for top four this year. I think it's going to be a race for top four. And I think last day of the season, Maynard will nick it and Leicester will bottle it and finish sixth. And Arsenal will nick in, get a last minute win, 3 0, last day of the season, and push up themselves to fifth place. So that's what they love to do. Give us give us false hope going into the next season. So yeah, <laughs> I think Leicester are gonna finish sixth. I think Tottenham will probably finish like eighth or ninth. Don't trust Nuno. And I think Kane will oh, I said he was gonna stay in the Man City part. <laughs> he might stay. But um yeah, that is that's where I'll leave it there. Ah, oh, it's gonna be a long season for me still. But that's what I'm uh, um, we, we, us, we can revise that. Us, are Spurs really gonna get Martinez? Like, is he really going there? Only if Kane leaves. I think they're not gonna go in for him if Kane don't leave. Well, they said he they they said they wanted him to play with Kane, but mm, I know, but seventy million is a lot of money. I really hope they don't get him. 
Because he's like, Spurs don't, don't have the seventy million, no. No, they have them bad. They don't. They don't like spending money. That's it. They don't like spending yeah. money. <laughs> like, Leave me that. Yeah.